How the X-59 NASA's supersonic aircraft is pushing the boundaries of aerodynamics and stealth, making faster than sound travel more practical, and will supersonic flights over cities return? I'll share my opinion at the end. But first, I'll present the key data that could open, or close, this possibility. If the noise reduction system works, previously banned routes could be reinstated. Otherwise, the dream fades away. What exactly is needed for this to happen? A supersonic jet with no forward window, flying blind at Mach 1.4, yet the pilot sees threats 2.8 nautical miles away, more than double what human eyes can detect. This isn't science fiction. NASA just unveiled the X-59, an aircraft that breaks the fundamental rule of aviation design. The cockpit has no glass facing forward. Instead, a 4K camera feeds a digital display, giving pilots 15 extra seconds to react to danger. For 50 years, supersonic flight over land has been banned. The sonic boom from the Concorde registered 105 decibels, loud enough to rattle windows and trigger thousands of complaints. NASA is betting $500 million that the X-59 can reduce that thunderclap to a whisper. If they succeed, a $70 billion market opens overnight. If they fail, supersonic travel remains imprisoned over oceans forever. April 27, 1973. The FAA implements a total ban on civilian supersonic flight over U.S. territory. The cause was the B-58 Hustler, an Air Force bomber whose test flight sent shockwaves through American cities. Windows shattered. Citizens panicked. The political backlash was immediate and absolute. The physics seemed insurmountable. When an aircraft exceeds Mach 1, pressure waves cannot escape ahead of the vehicle. They compress into two explosive impulses, the characteristic double boom that announces supersonic flight. The Concorde, despite being an engineering marvel, produced sonic booms measuring 105 perceived level decibels. That's louder than a jackhammer at close range. The X-59's fundamental breakthrough targets 75 decibels, the sound of a car door closing across the street. This represents a 90% reduction in perceived loudness compared to the Concorde. The aircraft achieves this through its essential design characteristic a 99.7-foot elongated nose that spreads shockwaves across time and space, preventing them from coalescing into that explosive double bang. NASA calls it a sonic thump rather than a sonic boom. The difference determines whether supersonic travel returns to civilian airspace or remains a historical footnote. The X-59's extreme nose creates an operational impossibility. The pilot cannot see forward. Traditional aviation demands direct visual contact for takeoff, landing, and collision avoidance. NASA's solution was the E-External Vision System, a flight-critical innovation that transforms a limitation into superiority. The XVS consists of forward-facing 4K cameras during controlled flight tests. Pilots using the XVS detected traffic at a median range of 2.8 nautical miles. Pilots relying on traditional windows detected the same traffic at 1.2 nautical miles. The digital system provided 133% greater detection range. This advantage becomes crucial in ground clutter scenarios, where traditional optical detection degrades severely. The XVS maintains superior performance even in these challenging conditions. NASA classified the system at Technology Readiness Level 9, fully operational and flight-proven. The implications extend beyond the X-59. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, developer of the F-117 Stealth Fighter and SR-71 Blackbird, now possesses validated technology for windowless aircraft. Future military platforms can prioritize aerodynamic efficiency and stealth shaping without compromising pilot awareness. The removal of forward-facing windows eliminates a primary radar reflection point and structural weakness. The X-59 incorporates military-grade components throughout its design. The F-414GE-400 engine powers both the experimental aircraft and the Navy's F-A-18 Super Hornet. The landing gear comes directly from F-16 Block 25 fighters. These choices reduce development risk while establishing a clear path to military variants. Consider the tactical scenario. Current high-altitude reconnaissance platforms like the U-2 operate at similar altitudes but remain vulnerable to modern air defenses. The X-59's combination of Mach 1.4 speed and acoustic stealth creates an intelligence platform that arrives before detection. 
The absence of a sonic boom removes the primary warning mechanism that alerts ground defenses to supersonic overflight. The platform's intrinsic value lies in survivable speed within contested airspace. It bridges the capability gap between vulnerable subsonic surveillance and unproven hypersonic systems. A military derivative could deliver high-value personnel or equipment at 55,000 feet without triggering acoustic alerts over sovereign territory. NASA confirmed the aircraft cleared electromagnetic compatibility testing at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, the same facility that produced the B-2 stealth bomber. External systems from an F-15D research aircraft operated nearby without interference, validating that the X-59's avionics function reliably in complex electromagnetic environments. While NASA develops quiet supersonic technology, China and Russia pursue weaponized hypersonics. China's hypersonic arsenal emerged from two decades of focused investment in specialized wind tunnels and testing infrastructure. Russia has deployed three operational hypersonic weapon systems. Their strategic goal, bypass American missile defenses with Mach 5 plus weapons. The X-59 represents America's alternate path. The $500 million program cost appears minimal compared to the billions required for hypersonic weapons development. More significantly, mastering shockwave physics at 75 decibels demonstrates fundamental aerodynamic expertise. This knowledge transfers directly to military applications. Foreign defense analysts recognize the threat. If American engineers can reshape sonic booms into barely audible thumps, they can apply similar physics to military platforms. Billions invested in acoustic detection systems become obsolete overnight. The quiet supersonic breakthrough threatens the entire architecture of sonic early warning. The U.S. Army's long-range hypersonic weapon remains delayed until fiscal year 2025. Meanwhile, the X-59 advances through testing phases, establishing American dominance in a different but equally critical speed regime. NASA's timeline unfolds across three phases. Phase 1 saw the aircraft's formal debut in January 2024, with delivery planned for 2025. Phase 2 involves acoustic validation flights over NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center, confirming the 75-decibel target in real atmospheric conditions. Phase 3 represents the crucial test. Through 2029, the X-59 will fly over selected American communities, gathering public response data about the sonic thump. These flights determine whether five decades of prohibition end or continue. The essential metric isn't just volume, but acceptability. Laboratory studies indicate 75 decibels falls below the threshold of public annoyance. NASA will deliver this community response data to the FAA and International Civil Aviation Organization, arguing for noise-based regulations rather than speed limits. Success unlocks a massive market opportunity. Industry projections show the supersonic aircraft market growing from $48.29 billion in 2025 to $70.54 billion billion dollars by 2034, a compound annual growth rate of 4.30 percent. North America would capture the largest share, with transcontinental flights cut in half. Boom! Supersonic already positions its overture jet for Mach 1.7 cruise speeds, awaiting regulatory approval. Airlines have placed preliminary orders. The entire industry watches NASA's community tests. The X-59's civil mission masks deeper implications. Every technological breakthrough, the shaped sonic thump, the superior digital vision system, the integration of proven military components creates immediate defense applications. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works doesn't develop pure research platforms. They build operational capability. A classified military variant likely exists in preliminary design. The combination of acoustic stealth, proven XVS technology, and supersonic speed defines a new reconnaissance doctrine. Such platforms could penetrate denied airspace without triggering sonic detection, gather intelligence at unprecedented speed, and return before adversaries react. The successful electromagnetic testing at Plant 42 confirms system maturity. The same facility that produced America's most advanced stealth aircraft now validates the X-59's readiness. This convergence of location, contractor, and capability suggests military applications already under development. The X-59 challenges our fundamental assumptions about supersonic flight. For 50 years, we accepted that speed meant noise, that breaking the sound barrier meant breaking windows. NASA's acoustic engineers proved that assumption wrong. By stretching shockwaves across 99.7 feet of precisely shaped aluminum, they transformed an explosive boom into a gentle thump. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like it, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. 
The implications cascade through aviation. Pilots flying without forward windows see better than those looking through glass. Military planners envision silent penetrators operating above contested territory. Commercial airlines prepare for routes that cut travel time in half. Yet the deepest revolution may be regulatory. If communities accept the X-59 sonic thump, the entire framework of aviation law must change. Speed limits become noise limits. Prohibition becomes permission. The sonic boom that defined an era becomes a whisper that opens the next one.